Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest Dawn of the Wolves, our special summer event with Dawn and her mate Onyx and their four puppies. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they finally had their first litter and we need to defend our puppies. Oh yes, and we almost died to a cougar, so we need to go and get Dawn some food immediately. We just chased off a cougar last time late in the night that came praying for our puppies, but we managed to send it away before it turned one of our pups into a meal which is a really wonderful thing and there's some food should i eat that one the puppies have a little bit of food right now so let's try to go for an elk carcass that's a little bit further out because that will give us the opportunity to save the closer elk carcasses for puppy food which is very important because we have some very very hungry pups and everything has gotten so much more intense i am so excited that we have finally figured out our challenge and that we have figured out which wolf we're going to have and we have explained so much about how we do our wolf quest wolves and their adventures because having done all of that from now on Don and Onyx will be able to have their litters so much quicker and we will be able to dive into the challenges of raising and protecting our puppies a lot faster but I really hope we do very well with this first litter I'm so nervous about them so as you guys saw last time, and oh my gosh, my pack affinity is getting super low and I need to mark my territory. This is not good. <laughs> But as you guys saw last time, the challenge that you guys ended up voting into existence is that Dawn is actually, um, eh, she's, she's not had the healthiest litter. And that just happens sometimes. Who knows? It could be genetics. It could just be bad luck. But Dawn has given birth to one puppy named Fawn who actually is very sick. And right now, as things stand, she just has a very weak body and she has a 10% chance every day. There's a bear of dying and uh, not, 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 you know, she could die by bear I mean there's obviously a bear right here who would be very happy to eat our puppy but we're gonna chase it away which is very exciting if we had figured out okay no the puppies are not safe there is a bear literally right here the pups are not safe in the den excuse you for saying that they are oh gosh and Dawn is like learning how to fight predators she went for the face on that bear twice even all right, good, we chased the grizzly away. Fantastic, let's get down here and howl. Oh my gosh, but yes, we have had our puppy fawn. And she is sickly and she does not have a disease. She did not roll for an infectious disease, by the way. A lot of you guys were worried she could get uh, moose and boulder and quartz sick, but don't worry. The disease that fawn has, not dawn, but fawn, like a little baby doe, has is not contagious. And yes, I actually did roll a random generator to decide whether or not she would have a contagious disease, if she would be deaf, blind, or have a limp and she ended up rolling that she just has a very frail and weak body and who is this quartz quartz i know that our pack affinity is super low but we don't need this kind of hubba baloo uh i think that dawn's learning she needs okay fawn hi fawn yes i know you're the only puppy who looks like me and of course you're the one who's like weak and there's just this coyote staring at us from the bushes we've got to get him <gasps> no moose moose you're almost the size of that coyote. We don't need you to get chased by him. Okay, let's take out this coyote. <gasps> oh my gosh. And the puppies are going to get really hungry again soon. And I need to pee on things because my territory is getting low. And stranger wolves do tend to show up pretty often around here if we're not careful. <gasps> This is the intense rush that is going to make Dawn and Onyx realize that the independent lives they had as just wandering wolves and then young wolves in love was actually so much easier than the reality of raising a bunch of rambunctious puppies. Are they all here? One, two, three, four. Okay, good. All right, so the puppies are all here, but we really need to get that pack affinity up. And it doesn't seem like howling. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, maybe if we do a lot of howling, that'll help out. All right. We'll let everybody know this is our spot. We're gonna let the puppies know to stay here by howling with them a lot. No! Our howling has attracted one of the bears of Bear Mountain. Oh my gosh, get away. Dawn, or Dawn, stop going for the nose. Dawn, don't die. Oh my gosh, she's like really close to dying. Okay, the puppies are not safe. There's a bear right here. There's no way the puppies are safe. Okay, there we go. We chased the grizzly away. All right, puppies, you get one more howl really quick with dad. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Ah, they're just hanging out. They're just hanging out with Onyx. Okay, don't die, everybody. I have to have Dawn go. She's learning very quickly not to attack 
the bears from the front on the muzzle because that's just going to get her completely 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 scratched up all right is there some food over here i think there's some food over here i want to save that food for being able to feed our puppies though all right so let's keep running puppies are semi-fed we're going to run really far out for another one of the carcasses again just because the further out we go now will the puppies have food in their tummy the better ah which reminds me so yes coming back between grizzly bears and coyotes and wandering puppies to fun today's poll is going to be if we should cure fawn or not she does not have an infectious disease uh and that was something that could have happened and you guys did pick the the one option in the poll that had something to do with the puppies being physically unwell for those who were wondering uh the other poll options the cicadas indicated a summer drought which would have made things more difficult for how hard it would be and the difficulty level would have been set to one of the two top difficulties for being able to catch prey because prey would have been uh, very, very scarce due to the drought. And the shadows, the forest shadows, would have been a bear invasion because of returning to Bear Mountain. We would have had a very severe consequence because the mountain would have not forgotten the wolves that used to patrol here. And they would be very unforgiving, at least the bears would be. And then the last option that you guys could have picked, other than the puppy one that you guys all voted for, which was kind of a trick, actually, making one of the, the puppies sick, because you guys ended up voting. Okay, we're gonna get this bear gonna get this bear don't go for the muzzle this time come on learn to bite the butts of the bear channel kuma your ancestor all right thank goodness we we could chase that grizzly bear away but actually uh oh good and we have defended our puppies thank goodness now we just have to focus on growing them <laughs> But actually, putting um, Dreams of Young Pups was kind of a trick for you guys to see if you would remember that you were voting on a challenge. You weren't voting on something fun. You were voting on something very difficult. Something that would have presented a new level of difficulty for our wolves. And you guys picked pups, and so that meant that you picked something difficult to happen to the puppies. And that is why Fawn became sick. And the fourth option that was available with the growling in the book bushes some of you had fantastic ideas about it being quartz's or quartz's excuse me uh about it being onyx's sister who was mentioned in the wolf submission that we got for onyx and that would be really cool if we were playing with companion wolves again but we won't be doing that this time because wolf quest is very new to many people joining us this first time get away from my babies coyote you think that you can just fit in you don't look like my pups you don't look like my pups get her no 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 you're not allowed to just have me chase you literally right into the mouth of my den okay and speaking of the mouth of things boulder okay back to the den get over here buddy all right, there we go. And let's go ahead and feed him. We did roll for day today, and we rolled for difficulty level two out of four. But we're not going to be playing with companion wolves. Don't worry if you don't understand what I'm talking about when I mention companion wolves. We're just not playing with them this time around because we have a lot of new wolf quest people joining us who have not played before. Never seen how we play it before, so it might confuse them. But that was a clever idea, those of you who thought that maybe that poll option could mean something positive. Though remember, we were voting on challenges, so that's not the case. And it could mean that Onyx's sister was going to try to join us. Moose, you are too adventurous. Go back over to the den. I need to go get you guys some food. Except you guys need to, you need to stay here. Who else is, okay, Quartz, you and Moose are big wanderers. All right, let's pull him back over here. It was so much fun to read how you guys have already come up with so many different personality types for all the puppies, by the way. Fun, you jumped into my mouth again. So you definitely cling to your parents a little bit. All right. All right, and Quartz, we're gonna, okay, never mind. We're gonna grab Moose. Apparently he truly is the one who gets underfoot the most. There we go. All right, so the puppies should know by now that they need to stay here. And they're a little bit full, so I need to pee on things really quickly. If we get our, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 he was like nipping at the fur of our pups. Oh my gosh, my heart. Oh, 
Being a parent wolf is so hard, even without our challenge. Oh, and I did roll in fun, rolled an 8 out of 10 today, and if she rolls a 10 out of 10, then that means that she will pass away in her sleep. So the, that brings us about to, um, okay, where was I? Sorry. All of the defending of our puppies from dying does distract a, a person for a moment. You know what I mean? Let's go get some food to feed them. We're very frantic wolf parents. Don and Onyx are learning that it's a really hard job and maybe they took the idea of having puppies far too lightly, especially because Don is sick. And we actually need to decide if we, well, you know what, they're full-ish now, so let's go for a further carcass to make, to save the closer carcass for a harder day because it's only difficulty level two. But the fourth option, uh, sniffing in the bushes, the whimpering in the bushes, actually would have been diseased coyotes. Ooh, doing a fresh hunt would probably be the best option. Go, 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 go. Don't get kicked. Don't get kicked. No, don't get kicked. Don't run right up to the bull elk of all of the things. <laughs> all right, Onyx, come this way. We need to chase this cow elk. <laughs> this is really important. We need to do a fresh hunt. We can't rely on the carcasses, which we didn't leave enough of forever. Okay, all right. Oh, let's see, maybe we can chase her a little bit closer to the den. And if I grab her, maybe I can hold on to her long enough. Onyx! Onyx, where are you? All right, get her, Onyx! Oh no, crossing the river is not a good thing to do right now. Also because the elk can get stuck in the river and then, okay, she's not stuck in the river anymore, but I am. <laughs> Poor Dawn! <laughs> she's learning so much about how difficult it is to chase down this food. I mean, the good news is if we take this uh, elk down all the way out here, then what will happen is she will actually be food for us in the future. What the heck is that? I think it's just a tree stump, but it's really freaking me out because I don't remember a tree stump over there. All right, come on. Go, 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 go. Get her, get her. Our puppies are going to get hungry though. <laughs> but the whimpering in the bushes would have been diseased coyotes who could have made uh, all of us very sick. So that was actually the most dangerous option that you guys could have picked. So it was a relief to see that it wasn't picked and we have chased the elk back into the rocks. This is also something that Dawn's ancestors once upon a time used to do. Um, except I have no idea if it's going to be useful to us in the future as food anymore. <laughs> okay, so the good news is we now have an elk carcass to come and rely on for the summer the summer forest run. Okay, Onyx, can you get her? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's just eat enough to heal ourselves. <laughs> the bad news is we're really far away from our puppies and there's a very good chance they could starve before we get back. And where's Onyx? Did, okay, there you are, Onyx. <laughs> I thought he got like buried in the mountainside. That was gonna be a little bit intense. All right, we're gonna leave most of the, the carcass here. And the reason we're going to do that is because when we come this way with our puppies headed for the summer forest, one of the most dangerous things is that no none of the elk come down here. And we have to get our pups all the way from here down to Douglas Fir Slopes, which is the summer forest, which finishes this phase of their lives. And if we don't get them there, the puppies will die. And if we don't get back home right away now and get some food, okay, there's a carcass right across the river, thank goodness. If we don't get across the river and get some food and then get back up to our puppies, they're going to starve to death. I am so tense. So tense right now. Maybe that was a really bad decision. Where the heck is the carcass that was just... Okay, never mind. All right, we're going to come back to this carcass. Oh my gosh, maybe doing a fresh hunt and then chasing it all the way practically to the forest was not a good idea. Food for the pups, food for the pups. Oh no, I ran into the water. Not good, not good. Oh, I haven't been so nervous in so long. Normally, I'm a much better wolf parent. Maybe I have, I have, I have, my, I too have lost my skills. Don't worry, Dawn, it's not just you. All right, we won't even fill up all the way. We just have to get a little bit of food into each of their mouths. Onyx, I wish you would feed our puppies. I wish you would feed our puppies. Now's not the time to find a cougar or a bear. We need to eat them. Come on, Dawn. Oh, I really don't want her very first litter to be a lot of very hard lessons. Okay, go, 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 go. Maybe the forest den would have been easier because we would have been closer. Oh my gosh, feed them. Okay, moose, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Okay, boulder. All right. Okay, feed fawn, feed fawn. Okay, I think we fed them just the tiniest bit. <gasps> okay, come on, go, go, go. All right, but you guys saw there a good example of why you need to be very careful in the pole choice that you pick. 
Whew. The challenge you guys have picked is that only one of our puppies, I mean, technically it's a really useful challenge because only one of our puppies' lives are in danger and that is the life of little Fawn. So if we leave the area and we wander away too far in search of food or in search of the three plant bulbs, which we can only bring back one of each time, to cure Fawn so that she no longer has that 10% chance of dying every day over her head and we no longer have to carry her the entire way back to the summer forest and then there's a chance that we could lose all of the puppies oh there's a chance that we could have a stranger wolf because we would be so far away get away who are you are you like some sort of relative of ours a stranger wolf just showing up to eat my pups i'm so glad we got over here quickly okay we chased the stranger wolf away i've got to pee on things it got down that's right onyx i almost bit you because you look like the stranger wolf was that your sister because it did run away without eating our puppies. That would be kind of an interesting twist if Dawn proved to be too territorial to let Onyx's sister nearby and she was like checking on him. Oh, oh, so much story. When babies are born and challenges are rolling, it's so hard. But you guys saw our puppies almost starved to death just because we were hunting an elk. We didn't even go very far. And Aspen Heights, the place where the bulbs of the flowers that can cure fawn are, is very far away from us. We would have to run all the way over here to this den three times in order to cure fawn and prevent her from having uh, that disease possibly kill her. There is a 10% chance every day that her, her she's just too weak to survive. And you know, normally in the wild, the weak puppies wouldn't live, but that's up to you. Up to you to decide what the best option is as a community. You can be very nice to each other or else, please, in the comments to explain your opinion on what should be done. It might be fun to see you guys argue it out nicely uh, as wolf ancestors, as we often do with our Warrior Cat series with Star Clan, and because we are the Starry Skies ancestors after all. And yes, so we need to figure out what would be the best choice. Should we save Fawn? Should we go over and risk all of our puppies starving because we head down and we snag that f the flower bulb three times? There's another coyote already. Oh my gosh. We're definitely racking up the experience points now. Dawn and Onyx are going to be very experienced wolf parents by the time this is done one way or another. Or should we uh, let go of the, that opportunity and just focus on growing our puppies and getting them to the summer forest as quickly as possible? Those are the choices that you guys have today. And one of the poll options will be that we only risk going if we do a lot of extra hunting first, or that we only risk going if it's a very easy day, if the day itself seems to be a very, very easy one. So let me know what you guys think uh, by voting and by speaking kindly to each other in the comments below about what your decision would be and why because the fate of this pack and the fate of all of its little puppies are in your guys hands so i'll see you next time bye bye